warm welcome to all of you to this solemn eucharistic celebration it is a very special and a unique day for all of us especially to all our graduates dear friends today we are celebrating the graduation of students of medical college college of allied health sciences and college of physiotherapy a total of 392 and tomorrow students of school of nursing college of nursing and college of speech and hearing a total of 232 and a grand total of 624 graduates with a heart full of gratitude we praise god for his amazing power and work in our lives for his goodness and blessings over us who brought hope through even the toughest of times strengthening us to reach our goals accompanying us with great love and care and watching over us with his mercy and grace life is an echo what you sent out comes back what you sow you reap what you give you get each of us have unlimited power to care and to love that can make the biggest difference in the quality of others life let us then allow the lord to mold us and make us his vessels of healing presence wherever we are let us take it as a challenge to make our life a masterpiece let jesus be our model and a guide today we implore god's choicest blessings upon each one of you dear graduates that you may continue to ignite the world by your care and compassion and be the healers by your touch and soothing words inspired by the motto heal and comfort may your presence bring joy to the weary souls make the broaden hall and may you be a blessings to all those who need you the most may jesus the divine healer in this eucharist bless our management parents faculty and all those who toil to make this day happen for us with this prayer in our hearts let us join the graduates to celebrate this eucharist we accord a cordial welcome to our dear bishop most reverend peter paul saldana president of fmci who will offer this holy eucharist for us Let us rise for the entrance hymn. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you and with your spirit. The introduction has already given us a glimpse of 
what is going to happen today and tomorrow. Graduation is a moment of great joy, of having crossed one milestone in life, of achieving something worthwhile, of becoming credible people in this society. And people will recognize our presence because of our education, but much more because of our compassion. The mission of healing and comforting the people is desired all over the world. And we are now here to thank God for the good things He has been doing among us. To celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and our pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, by whose wondrous grace we are enriched with every blessing, grant us so to pass from former ways to newness of life, that we may be made ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Daniel. In those days, the assembly condemned Susanna to death. Then Susanna cried out with a loud voice and said, O eternal God, who does discern what is secret, who is aware of all things before they come to be, you know that these men have borne false witness against me. And now I am to die. Yet I have done none of the things that they have wickedly invented against me. The Lord heard her cry. And as she was being led away to be put to death, God aroused the Holy Spirit of a young lad named Daniel. And he cried with a loud voice, I am innocent of the blood of this woman. All the people turned to him and said, what is this that you have said? Taking his stand in the midst of them, he said, Are you such fools, you sons of Israel? Have you condemned a daughter of Israel without examination and without learning the facts? Return to the place of judgment, for these men have borne false witness against her. Then all the people returned in haste, and all the elders said to him, Come, Sit among us and inform us, 
for God has given you that right. And Daniel said to them, Separate them far from each other, and I will examine them. When they were separated from each other, he summoned one of them and said to him, You old relic of wicked days, your sins have now come home, which you have committed in the past, pronouncing unjust judgments, condemning the innocent, and letting the guilty go free. Though the Lord said, Do not put to death an innocent and righteous person. Now then, if you really saw her, tell me this. Under what tree did you see them being intimate with each other? He answered, Under a mastic tree. And Daniel said, Very well, you have lied against your own head. For the angel of God has received the sentence from God and will immediately cut you into two. Then he put him aside and commanded them to bring the other. And he said to him, You offspring of Canaan and not of Judah, beauty has deceived you and lust has perverted your heart. This is how you both have been dealing with the daughters of Israel and they were intimate with you through fear. But a daughter of Judah would not endure your wickedness. Now then, tell me, under what tree did you catch them being intimate with each other? He answered, under an evergreen oak. And Daniel said to him, Very well, you also have lied against your own head. For the angel of God is waiting with his sword to saw you in two, that he may destroy you both. Then all the assembly shouted loudly and blessed God, who saves those who hope in him. And they rose against the two elders, for out of their own mouths, Daniel had convicted them of bearing false witness. And they did to them as they had wickedly planned to do to their neighbor, acting in accordance with the law of Moses. They put them to death. Thus innocent blood was saved that day. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Jesus Christ, 
I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, says the Lord, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. At that time, Jesus spoke to the Pharisees, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but will have the light of life. So the Pharisees said to him, You are bearing witness about yourself. Your testimony is not true. Jesus answered, Even if I do bear witness about myself, my testimony is true, for I know where I came from and where I am going. But you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge according to the flesh. I judge no one. Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is true. For it is not I alone who judge, but I and the Father who sent me. In your law it is written, that the testimony of two people is true. I am the one who bears witness about myself, and the Father who sent me bears witness about me. They said to him, Therefore, where is your Father? Jesus answered, You know neither me nor my Father. If you knew me, you would know my Father also. These words he spoke in the treasury as he taught in the temple, but no one arrested him because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, in the first reading we have the Susanna story is a wonderful story where an innocent woman is condemned to death with the testimony of two witnesses. The book of law in the Old Testament gave this instruction that at least there should be two witnesses and these two elderly men bear witness and they are considered false and whatever punishment had they planned against Susanna, an innocent woman, later on falls on them. A young boy, Daniel, filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, shouts at the top of his voice saying, I am innocent of this person's blood. It's the voice of God that made them to understand something has happened. And these men, when they did not get a chance to enjoy with this lady, they thought of finishing her off. Similar instances are there in the Gospel. We have another instance in the Gospel of John, chapter 8. A woman caught in adultery was caught in the very flagrant act of committing adultery. And these men, scribes and the Pharisees, means the learned people, highly educated in the law and in the scriptures, these are the ones who catch and bring her, not the ordinary wayside gundas. And they bring her to Jesus. Asking, what do you say? This woman has been caught in the flagrant act of adultery. What do you say? And Jesus does not answer them. 
Rather, he writes on the ground. What he writes, we do not know. When they are insistent on getting an answer from him, because he was a teacher, Jesus says some words which are very enlightening even to our society today. In a world when there are a lot of fake news, deep fake, everything is fake, everything is adulterated. And those of you, that one who has not committed any sin, let him throw the stone first. The law gave this chance that the first witness can throw the first stone. Therefore, the first witness should inquire into his own conscience whether he has really been a sinless, innocent person to condemn the people who have committed sin. The woman admits that she has committed sin. She does not deny. Jesus also admits that she is sinful because otherwise he would not have given the chance to throw the stone. Not like Daniel, where a judgment is given a second instance. And Jesus knew the thoughts of their mind. He could measure and gauge the depth of their heart and that wickedness that was lurking beneath. That they were trying to trap him more than anything else, than to do justice. If they had to do justice, Deuteronomy chapter 22 says that both the men, man and the woman should be stoned to death. But they have let the man go. Why? Perhaps they have caught her just because they were not given a chance to have union with her. Or there must have been some other reason why they were so angry. Otherwise, she may not be the only person to be punished. There were many others who could have been caught by the scribes and Pharisees. And many times, as we have seen in the first reading, the people who are educated, highly qualified, become the most corrupt and most uh, wicked many times. That is what is uh, the story here, both in the first reading and in the gospel. And we have to be careful when we are educated. Corruption of the best is the worst, it is said. Corruptio optimi pessima in Latin. And we have to be on our guard that we do not accuse people that easily unless we make a deep examination of conscience. Jesus did not fall a prey to their wicked wiles. But then, many of us sometimes fall easily. Why was he writing on the floor? There's a nice little statement in the, gospel, uh, in the, in the book of Jeremiah. He says, he prays to God, O Lord, the hope of Israel, all who forsake you shall be put to shame. Those who turn away from you shall be written in the earth, for they have forsaken the Lord, the fountain of living water. In front of these men who have come with the accusation, Jesus writes on the floor, because even their names are written on the earth, because they have also abandoned God. Jesus may not have written the individual sins of each and every one, but he was telling, well, you who accuse others are the first to be condemned. Doesn't it happen among us? We use in psychology one of the defense mechanisms as projection. What is within, deep within us, unacceptable, we project onto others and accuse them. In fact, we are the very ones who commit those type of mistakes and sins. But we hide much what is within us and then read on the forehead of others and project it just to exonerate us and accuse the others. It happens in practically with everyone unless we are really who have come to a great high level of spirituality. And these Pharisees and the scribes and in the Old Testament those two elders, they were judges. 
they were judges elders were judges supposed to be judging the case but today they were witnesses and bad witnesses it is said we carry the mistakes of others on a platter like uh, brittle glasses never allowing them to fall so that we guard them but our own weaknesses and since we put them behind our back like the school boy who carries his bag he just puts it on his uh, shoulders and he forgets our own sins are forgotten and those of others are remembered there's a nice little saying in the speech of mark antony in the drama julius caesar the evil that men do lives after them the good is oft interred with their bones then he says of course the speech continues the famous speech in the drama most of the time we nurture the negative bias we are having a itching ear or a great thirst for negative news for gossip and we propagate it forwarding it to many people and we see that every day negative news gets biggest coverage and what hits the headlines is the negative news look at any media print or digital whereas the good that is done silently hardly anybody goes to investigate and give a good coverage because people don't have time to listen to it or read it because it's not palatable why goodness is not palatable evil is palatable that's his charity says because we are under the power of sin under the power of evil devil and we easily give in to it he is the accuser and we become his party my dear brothers and sisters today as uh, the mercy and misery stand together mercy in the person of jesus misery in the person of the woman caught in adultery they tell us something that we are supposed to take the stand of jesus not of his enemy to stand with the mercy compassion jesus christ and so that misery can slowly vanish our mercy will heal and comfort our compassion will bring therapy that heals compassion is very therapeutic as many of you have chosen this profession of showing compassion to people kindness many times we are not able to heal but then we can always comfort them accompany them spend time listening to them their woes and ills worries and anxieties make them as our own and then life becomes different i'm sure that woman who went away from jesus never again fell into adultery she might have been a saintly person i conclude with a little uh, anecdote that is an happened in the life of saint francis de sales one of the bishops was known for his compassion and love once a woman notorious for her public life let us say bad life came to him for confession and she confessed everything the whole of her past life and after having received the absolution forgiveness and the penance and a good advice she gets up comes out of the confessional and has a little dialogue with the saintly confessor priest francis de sales father i have shared with you everything you know now how i have lived all through my life what a bad life i have lived what do you say about me without much thought st francis de sales says daughter when you came and knelt down you were a sinner but when you rise up on your feet now you are a saint go in peace and that's what it is that's the privilege given to us my dear brothers and sisters in this lenten season to come and kneel down on our own asking pardon acknowledging that we have plenty to confess 
we can't just push it aside or put it behind our back no we have to admit carry those like brittle glasses and say lord these are the things my life has become brittle but then now you can heal me and when you rise you become a new person the example of the prodigal son or the generous father's parable itself is sufficient for us and i invite all of you especially the graduates to see your work is with people not with machines you are going to work with people like you like me show compassion show kindness accompany them they will be healed much before you give them tablets or injections because the spirit has to be healed first go in peace do not sin any more jesus said heal spiritually and that spiritual healing should initiate the physical healing let us rise and place before our god our intentions and petitions your response lord hear our prayer lord, lord hear our prayer lord we pray for the universal church bless our pope francis bishop peter paul saldana who is celebrating this eucharist for us all the bishops priests religious and laity that everyone be a living witness of the gospel proclaiming christ by our kindness forgiveness and genuine love to our brethren we pray lord hear our prayer lord we pray for our country and entrust the forthcoming general elections into your hands may you take control of our land may you choose those leaders who lead our country on the path of religious harmony peace justice and welfare of its citizens we pray lord hear our prayer lord we pray for our father muller charitable institutions bless our director the administrators spiritual animators and all those who render service at various capacities guided by the power of the holy spirit motivated by the love of god may we all become the channels to heal and comfort the needy brethren we pray lord, lord hear our prayer lord we thank you for the gift of all our graduates may the knowledge and the skill that they have attained in this institution along with the values and the good example enable them to be a healing balm to the suffering humanity may they continue to spread the fragrance of their alma mater within and outside the country being proud ambassadors of our institution we pray lord hear our prayer lord we pray for all those who suffer physically psychologically and spiritually especially those who are treated in our hospitals may your divine healing touch be extended to each of them through our doctors nurses and the paramedics giving them comfort and helping them regain their hope and confidence in you we pray lord hear our prayer we pray for all the faculty members staff and all other students who have helped our graduates to reach this stage of their life bless their parents and siblings too may they all be a channel of love and peace to whomever they meet we pray lord, lord hear our prayer lord we pray for all of us gathered for this banquet of love with hearts full of gratitude may our partaking in this divine meal unite us in the bond of fraternity to work hand in hand for the spread of your kingdom may our words and actions be a reflection of your merciful love to each of us we pray lord hear our prayer grant we pray o lord that your people may turn to you with all their heart so that whatever they dare to ask in fitting prayer they may receive by your mercy through christ our lord amen
brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church grant we pray o lord that preparing to celebrate the holy mysteries we may bring before you as the fruit of bodily penance a joyful purity of heart through christ our lord amen The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord holy father almighty and eternal god for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults raise up our minds and bestow both virtue and its rewards through christ the lord through him the angels praise your majesty dominion said over and power tremble before you heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim Worship together in exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. <laughs> You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts. We pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying. Take this all of you and eat of it 
for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith for as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord you have just spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope and peter paul our bishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god saint joseph her spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you through over the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him O God almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever Amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who set your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray strengthened by the blessing of your sacraments we pray o lord that through them we may constantly be cleansed of our faults and by following christ hasten our steps to upward towards you through christ our lord amen graduation day a day to rejoice praise and thank the lord and we did it through this eucharistic sacrifice i wish on behalf of bishop and all the priests in the management all of you especially the graduates a very happy graduation day today and tomorrow and also congratulate the parents for being a great support in the journey of our students who are graduating today and tomorrow my sincere thanks to our beloved bishop president of padamulla charitable institutions and bishop of mangalore our diocese most reverend dr peter paul saldana for presiding over this thanksgiving eucharistic sacrifice and always giving us an inspiring message through his homily bishop we are grateful to you and pray for you and for our diocese that is our assurance word of thanks to all the priest today especially who con celebrated with the bishop and more especially a former chaplain for the felix montero a former chaplain for the jb crasta and also for the francis de souza for the felix and for the francis are in the seminary and for the jb crasta uh, director of saint anthony's charitable institutions dear fathers we are grateful to you thanks to all the parents of our graduates and all those who took part in this eucharistic sacrifice more especially the parents we are grateful to you for sending your children to our colleges to our institution and therefore we are grateful to you because you are our ambassadors thanks to the liturgical group of today especially the melodious choir of the day and readers and altar servers and all those who helped in today's arrangement this eucharistic sacrifice chapel arrangement may god bless you all and thank you dear choir members i am also grateful to our governing board members members of the centenary charitable society and also management committee members and sisters who have come as guests thank you and have a very wonderful day today and as well as tomorrow a word of uh, appreciation towards uh, the director the administrators the assistant administrators the chaplains the whole hospital management the governing boards the faculty doctors nurses sister staff and students all of you i place before our god your selfless service your dedication to this institution and the well well being of the students who are graduating it's a joy that when our children achieve and we rejoice and as they go out the parents are surely joyful and we join them in their rejoicing rejoice with those who rejoice is the advice of saint paul and weep with those who weep naturally we rejoice today tomorrow for the achievements of our alumni alumne and i thank there are so many certainly that is a father mulla medical college father mulla college of allied health sciences college of physiotherapy school of nursing college of nursing college of speech and hearing the achievement of these students and also of the staff because without the staff the students alone cannot do much and this combined effort of the management of the staff students faculty everyone is bearing fruit as we have thanked god let us thank one another 
for their presence companionship friendship and above all prayers god bless you all god bless our efforts thank you the lord be with you and with your spirit set free from their sins so lord we pray the people who call upon you that living a holy way of life they may be kept safe from every trial through christ our lord amen the almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen go forth the mass is ended thanks be to god
used to Sometimes we're not ourselves There's no one I can turn to
along with highly experienced and dedicated staff making it a world class medical establishment. The Fatimullah group of institutions provides an ideal and conducive ground for grooming young students into medical, paramedical and nursing graduates who learn the nuances of medicine. The training here goes beyond Father Muller Medical College, College of Allah. Father Muller Charitable Institution. Our chief guest today is Dr. A.V.S. Ramesh Chandra, IFS, Additional Secretary, Minister of External Affairs, Government of India. Guests inside the convention center are requested not to move out of the auditorium as it may disturb the solemn procession. The Father Muller Charitable Institution's graduation 2024 procession will be led by the institution flag bearers. Representing Father Muller Charitable Institution is Dr. Meena Dai, Professor and Head, Department of Microbiology, Father Muller Medical College. Student flag bearers are the presidents of their respective student council, Mr. Princeton De Silva, representing College of Allied Health Sciences, Mr. Rin Suwagi Raji, representing College of Physiotherapy, and Ms. Janisha Kalin Gonzalez, representing Father Muller Medical College. The procession is led by the band of the Father Muller College of Nursing, with Mr. Vijay Kumar Rojera as the Prime Minister and Mr. Mr. Liya Raju as, as the band leader. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to finally ride as the professional graduate and dignitaries led by the College of Nursing Band enters the auditorium.
gentlemen we, we now have, have a symbolic, symbolic welcome in the traditional indian custom the purna kumbh swagata and the aarti performed by students, students from college, college of jagarati Ladies and gentlemen, let us now invoke the blessings of the Lord Almighty. As we begin this auspicious event, may I invite the students of the Father Muller College of Physiotherapy to lead us in prayer. Please remain standing for the invocation.
Thank you, dear students. I request you all to kindly be seated. I now request Reverend Father Ajit B. Menezes, convener of the graduation committee, Dr. Anthony Sylvan de Souza, Dean, Father Muller Medical College, Dr. Hilda de Souza, Principal, Father Muller College of Allied Health Sciences, Professor Cherishma de Silva, Principal, Father Muller College of Physiotherapy, to escort our dignitaries onto the dais. We have in our midst Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Seldana, Bishop of Mangalore Diocese and President of Father Muller Charitable Institutions. We are honored to have Dr. A.V.S. Ramesh Chandra, IFS Additional Secretary, Minister of External Affairs, Government of India, New Delhi, as our chief guest. We are privileged to have Dr. Shubhash Giri, Director, Lady Harding Medical College and Associated Hospitals, New Delhi, as our guest of honor. We have Reverend Father Aloysius Richard Aloysius Coelho, Director, Father Muller Charitable Institutions, Reverend Father Sylvester Vincent Lobo, Administrator, Father Muller Hospital, Tumbe. We also have in our midst Reverend Father George Jeevan Sikwera, Administrator, Father Muller Medical College and Hospital, and Reverend Father Nelson Deeraj Pais, Assistant Administrator, Father Muller Medical College Hospital. Also, we are graced by Dr. Venkatesh BM, Vice Dean, Father Muller Medical College, and Dr. Uday Kumar, Medical Superintendent, Father Muller Medical College Hospital. We welcome you all. I request our beloved director, Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Coelho, to welcome the gathering and introduce today's chief guest and guest of honor. Distinguished guests, esteemed members of the governing board, faculty, parents, guardians, and precious graduates, print and electronic media friends, and invitees. As we gather here today, enveloped in the warmth of this esteemed institution, I am reminded of a profound truth encapsulated in the words of Helen Keller, happiness is not attained through self-gratification but through fidelity to a worthy purpose. These words echo the essence of our journey at the Father Mullah Charitable Institutions, where for the past 144 years, our purpose has been to heal, comfort, and spread joy. Our legacy is not merely measured in years but in the countless lives touched, the hope restored, and the joy nurtured within these walls. From the humble beginnings of St. Joseph Leprosy Hospital to the global recognition of our holistic healing practices, we have remained steadfast in our commitment to serve with compassion and excellence. In the tapestry of our institution, each thread represents a story of dedication, resilience, and unwavering faith. From our pioneering efforts in nursing education to the integration of homeopathy and allopathy, we have embraced innovation while staying true to our founding principles. Today, as we stand at the threshold of another chapter of our journey, let us not forget the shoulders upon which we stand, the tireless efforts of every doctor, the tender care of every nurse, and the aspirations of every student who has walked these halls. We have proudly held the torch of excellence in nursing education since the establishment of our school in the year 1959 and subsequent college in the year 1987. Our distinguished alumni have dispersed across the globe 
now serving as principals in numerous nursing colleges, both locally and beyond our district's border. Homeopathy, born out of Reverend Father Augustus Muller's profound love for humanity, has not only left an indelible mark on our local community, but also garnered recognition on international platforms. The Homeopathic Pharmaceutical Division, initiated by our visionary founder in 1880, boasts a global footprint. Similarly, a homeopathic college established in the year 1985 has been a beacon of academic excellence and innovation. Recognizing that homeopathy alone would not suffice in addressing a myriad of ailments afflicting our society, our founder embraced allopathy alongside qualified doctors. Today, our institutions stands as a formidable force in healthcare boasting over 1,250 beds and holding the esteemed status of the most sought after tertiary and quaternary healthcare center. Our commitment to providing the most comprehensive, affordable, technologically advanced and immaculate care has endeared us to the hearts of the underserved in our region, evident in a staggering average of 2,000 OPD footfalls and an impressive 85% bed occupancy rate. The Father Mullah Medical College Hospital stands as a testament not only to the tireless efforts of our management, but also to the dedication of every doctor, the needs of every patient, and the nurturing care of every nurse. To you, dear graduates, departing from your alma mater, Remember, the rarity of our institution's journey from a postgraduate MD college to later evolving into an undergraduate MBBS college. That this transformation serves as the cornerstone of our academic success, a legacy we proudly carry forward as we complete 25 years of MBBS program in our medical college. I am reminded of the words of St. Mother Teresa and Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, whose visits affirmed what we already knew, that this institution is a beacon of hope and healing, a sanctuary for the afflicted, and a testament to the, poor, to the power of compassion. As we extend hearty welcome to our esteemed guests, I am filled with gratitude for their presence amidst us be it Father Mullah Medical College and its offshoot, the Father Mullah College of Allied Health Sciences and Father Mullah College of Physiotherapy, the cogitation of every neat aspirant and their guardian is that of quality education, disciplined care, and overall holistic growth of individuals. With this, I would like to proceed to the welcoming of our dignitaries. With love and honor, I extend a genial welcome to our Bishop, Bishop of Mangalore and President of Adamulla Charitable Institutions, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana, who has honored us with his esteemed presence. In spite of his administrative and pastoral work, he keeps time for our institutional activities and events. Dear Bishop, we continue to look forward to your leadership, guidance, blessings, and with much delight and appreciation, I welcome you to this graduation ceremony. Administrator of the Medical College will honor our bishop with a bouquet. It is my privilege to introduce our Honorable Chief Guest, a very prominent personality, Dr. A.V.S. Ramesh Chandra, IFS. Dr. Ramesh Chandra is an officer of the Indian Foreign Service, IFS, 1989 batch, and is currently serving as Additional Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India. He has served in various capacities 
and occupied many important positions in the government of India over past 31 years, most recently having been OSD and acting president of South Asian University in New Delhi. Prior to this, his assignments are as below. High Commissioner of India to Uganda and Rwanda and Ambassador to Burundi. Ambassador of India to Romania, Moldova and Albania. Senior Diplomat in Embassies in Turkey, Russia, Pakistan and Afghanistan. India's Delegate at the Permanent Mission of the United Nations in New York. Deputy Director General of the Indian Council of World Affairs has been on deputations to the Department of Peacekeeping Operations in the United Nations Secretariat in New York, to the Indian Ministry of Defense, and the list goes on and on. He has done his master's degree in veterinary science, majoring in dairy technology from Andhra Pradesh Agricultural University, Hyderabad. Gold medalist throughout the seven years of college studies. Dr. Ramesh Chandra actively participated in various international seminars and received accolades for his outstanding contributions. He is also known for his devotion to Bhagawan Sri Satya Sai, having received the prestigious Bhagawan Sri Satya Sai gold medal for his exemplary academic performance in the year 1988. With his better half, Mrs. Katyayini Chandra, they are blessed with two daughters, a beautiful family indeed. Dean of the Father Mullah Medical College will honor our esteemed chief guest with a bouquet, with a big round of applause. Our guest of honor, Dr. Subhash Giri, who is currently the director, Lady Harding Medical College and Associated Hospitals, New Delhi, from January 2023 onwards. Holds an MBBS degree from the Postgraduate Institute of Medical Sciences, Rotak, where he excelled academically and later completed his MD in general medicine. He further, his further qualification with DNB in general medicine and pursued additional certifications including an MBA in healthcare management, demonstrating his commitment to academic and professional excellence. With over 27 years of experience in internal medicine, Dr. Giri has served as a teaching faculty member, researcher and administrator. His expertise lies in internal and emergency medicine as well as preemptive cardiology. Notably, he has supervised numerous postgraduate students, conducted examinations, and contributed significantly to medical literature through research papers numbering over 100 and books chapters. Dr. Giri's leadership extends beyond academia as he has been actively involved in administrative roles including selection committees and hospital management. Under his stewardship, Lady Harding Medical College has seen infrastructural enhancements and patient-friendly initiatives reflecting his dedication to healthcare excellence. His interpersonal skills, international exposure, and commitment to growth and well-being make him a valuable honorary to our event. Please join me in extending a warm welcome to Dr. Subhash Giri. <laughs> Principal of Adamullah College of Physiotherapy will honor our guest of honor with a bouquet. Here also I recognize the presence of Mr. Rajkumar Jain from New Delhi. It's my honor to render a hearty welcome to you, sir. And I request you, sir, to kindly come forward to the dais 
and to receive our honor, I request for the Jeevan to offer a bouquet of flowers to our guest. Thank you, sir. To the members of governing board, the pillars of our institutions, and the dedicated faculty who shape the minds of tomorrow, express my deepest appreciation for your unwavering support and guidance. I acknowledge the presence of the management committee members, members of the Father Mullah Centenary Charitable Society, my collaborators, administrators, and assistant administrators, dean, principals, religious sisters, advisory committee members, to the accompanying government officials, faculty of all our colleges, all civil and administrative and security personnel who have helped and been with us at every need, print and electronic media for your unwavering support to the graduates for being Un, for your unwavering support and to the graduates for being our ambassadors and apple of the eye of today. And to you, dear parents and guardians, entrusted with the care and upbringing of your graduates, I extend my heartiest gratitude for your faith in our institutions and your valuable, invaluable role in shaping the future generations. And to you, dear graduates, poised, with the brink, poised on the brink of a new beginning, remember that you are not only the ambassadors of this institution, but the torch bearers of hope and healing in a world that yearns for compassion and kindness. I quote from the Bible, Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. As we embark on this journey together, let us be guided by the light of our shared purpose to heal, to comfort, and to spread joy. Once again, a hearty welcome to all of you and have a very pleasant evening. Thank you and may God bless us all. Thank you, Father. I now request Reverend Father Ajit B. Menezes, convener of graduation ceremony, to present a brief annual report of Father Muller Medical College, College of Allied Health Sciences, and College of Physiotherapy. Good evening to you all. I am happy to present before you the annual report of Father Muller Medical College, Father Muller College of Physiotherapy, Father Muller College of Allied Health Sciences, units of Father Muller Charitable Institutions. Father Muller Medical College began with the postgraduate program in 1990 and the MBBS program in 1999. This year, we are celebrating 25 years of the commencement of MBBS course. The college has over 1,148 students studying in MBBS, MD, MS, and super specialty courses. College of Allied Health Sciences was established on 1st June 2020 under the newly named Father Muller College of Allied Health Sciences with a total 11 UG courses and four PG courses having an intake of more than 300 every year. The College of Physiotherapy was established in the year 1994, but it was functioning under the patronage of Father Muller Medical College. On 27 September 2023, it was declared as an independent college named as Father Muller College of Physiotherapy. At present, we have 60 UG and 20 PG intake every year. Father Muller Medical College attained more than 85% results for MBPS all phases, PG degree about 97% and MCH urology 100% result. 
Dr. Adel Alicia Montero has received gold medal for securing highest marks in ophthalmology subject during the third year MBBS university examination held in 2022. Seven MBBS students have secured 16 ranks in the university examination conducted by Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Science, Bangalore. Many of our postgraduate students have secured ranks at Rajiv Gandhi PG medical examination. Dr. Sanjana Joy, Astrid James, Maria Sushmita L, and Anush Serao have secured first, fifth, sixth, and ninth rank respectively for MD pathology. Dr. Sharon Joseph has secured second rank in MD microbiology, and Dr. Vujwal Suvarna, seventh rank in MS orthopedics. Dr. Vaishali has secured fifth rank in MD psychiatry. Dr. Suvida Kamath, fifth rank in MD dermatology. Dr. Venisha Fernandez, ninth rank, and Malati but tenth rank in MD radio diagnosis. In the super specialty exam, Dr. Nipun Bansal has secured first rank in MCH urology exam with a gold medal from Rajiv Gandhi University. Highlights from the results of Padamula College of Physiotherapy are as follows. Ms. Vidisha Pai B and Shet Elkura Gauri Prabhakar secured 6th and 10th rank respectively in the MPT Cardiovascular Pulmonary Sciences exams. Eight of our BPT students have secured ranks in the Rajiv Gandhi University examination. We have 90% results in the UG courses and 95% result in PG courses from the Father Muller College of Allied Health Sciences. Our MH and MSc students have secured 12 ranks in the university exams. Ms. Priya Kumari has received two gold medals for securing highest marks in the BSc HS exams. Our students have secured 11 ranks in BSc MIT, MLT, ATOT, and RTT exams. The following new appointments were made in our institutions. Dr. Venkatesh BM, Professor of General Medicine, is appointed as Vice Dean of Father Muller Medical College from 16th February 2024. Dr. Ramesh Bhatt, Professor of Dermatology, completed his term as a Vice Dean of Father Muller Medical College and is appointed as Head of Father Muller Research Center on 16th February 2024. Professor Cherishma De Silva, Professor of Physiotherapy, is appointed as Principal Father Muller College of Physiotherapy on 27th September 2023. The highlights and the facts which speak about continuous progress of our institution in terms of recognitions are NMC granted increase of intake in the Department of General Medicine from 11 to 15, General Surgery from 8 to 12, and Radio Diagnosis from 5 to 8 seats starting from the year 2023. Rajiv Gandhi University has granted approval to start MD Emergency Medicine, MD Respiratory Medicine, DM Medical Oncology, MCH Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery, MCH in Surgical Gastroenterology, and MCH Surgical Oncology. Department of Dermatology, Venerology, and Leprosy partnered with Brajivalia University, Indonesia. Department of Dermatology received the Best Dermatology Department Award by Indian Association of Dermatologists for the year 2023. <laughs> Father Muller Medical College, an adverse drug reaction monitoring center under PVPI, has received Certificate of Appreciation from Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India, in recognition of its appreciable contribution. We are ranked ninth in the country in pharmacovigilance. A big round of applause to the department. A glimpse of some important events conducted at our institution is as follows. Graduation day ceremony of Father Muller Medical College was held on 30th March 2023. Dr. M.K. Ramesh, Honorable Vice Chancellor of Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Science, Bengaluru, was the chief guest Datuk Dr. Henry Kore, Chief Operating Officer, Sabai Healthcare, Malaysia, was a guest of honor. Muller Medi Expo was organized on the occasion of Medical College MBBS course Silver Jubilee. The inauguration of the Silver Jubilee year of MBBS course and the course inauguration of MBBS PG and Allied Health Science courses for the year 
23-24 was held on 16th October 2023. A marathon with a theme, Kudla Runs for Known Drugs, or was organized in association with St. Joseph Engineering College, Wamanjuru, and Lourdes Central School, Bijay, on 3rd December 2023. During the Republic Day celebration, a faculty honored for their exemplary performance based on annual performance appraisal system. World Cancer Day, Muller Cancer Y program was organized by the departments of medical, surgical, and radiation oncology by conducting voluntary blood donation and hair donation camp. On that day, we also honored and felicitated organ and body donors, family members. Blessing of Foundation Stone of Father Muller Medical College, Silver Jubilee Academic Block, and Father Muller PG Hostel and Apartments was held on 1st November 2023. Beside these programs, every year we celebrate Freshers' Day, Interbatch Cultural Program, Sports Day, student council ceremony across the institutions. We also observe Yoga Day, Anti-Drug Day, Anti-Ragging Day, Doctor's Day, Ethnic Day, Swachh Bharat Day, Down Syndrome Day. We also organize CMEs, workshop, recruitment training programs, pre-conferences for the academic growth of our students. The faculty of our institutions are very energetic and we are more than happy to support them and encourage them. Some of the important faculty achievements are as follows. Dr. Ramesh Bhatt, Professor of Dermatology, was felicitated with the Professor Kandari Foundation Award, the highest award of IADVL for Lifetime Achievement Award during the Dermacon 2024 National Conference, IADVL. I'm indeed very proud to say that he is the first elected Indian International Director in the history of ILDS. Dr. Archana Bhatt appointed as the Editor-in-Chief and Dr. Manjunath J appointed as the Assistant edit Editor of Rajiv Gandhi University Health and Journal of Allied Health Sciences. We have many faculty who are awarded winners. Dr. Shiva Shankar Iyer, Dr. Bina Antony have been awarded the Pfizer Best Researcher. Dr. Aruna Yadiyal received the Dr. Sunanda Yad R. Kulakarni Annual Eminent Medical Literature Award for her book in Kannada. Dr. Jyoti Jairam has received Community Dermatology Award for her project on cashew nut dermatitis. Dr. Raghavendra B.S. was awarded Most Dynamic Healthcare Leader Award. Dr. Rochelle Montero is awarded the Dermalink 2023 Research Grant Award for her community-based research project. Dr. B.M. Jishan Hamid, Professor of Urology, appointed as the Chairman of the Youth Section of the SAR countries. Dr. Kishan Shetty, nominated as the President of Indian Society of Anesthesiology, Mangalore branch in March 2023. Dr. Nanda B, elected President, Mangalore Urology Forum for the year 24-25. Professor Cherishma Disil was awarded Distinguished Service Award in recognition of the meritorious and outstanding work done to promote the physiotherapy profession. Dr. Ms. Garima Gupta and Ms. Aishwarya Ghatti have successfully obtained a copyright for their educational masterpiece, Early Movements, Early Recovery, Handouts for Patients and Caregivers. Dear faculty, you have spread the fragments of Father Mula charitable institutions throughout the world by getting involved in so many activities, naturally, Awards and recognitions have come in search of you. We are proud about you and happy to acknowledge your contribution beyond the portals of this institution. Congratulations to all the faculty members. Our dynamic faculty are not only dedicated teachers, but also are enthusiastic learners too. The proof of this being additional qualification obtained by them. Some of them are as follows. Dr. Hilda Fernandez, Principal of Padamula College of Allied Health Sciences, completed postgraduate diploma in counseling with Best Outgoing Student Award. Dr. J. Stefani Lilia has completed postdoctor fellowship training in dermatopathology. Dr. Reshma Jikini, Dr. Archana Bhatt, Dr. Shiva Shankar Eyar, Dr. Shailaja, Dr. Savita Lasrado, and Dr. Archana Bhatt. These faculty have completed the NMC advanced course in medical education from the nodal center. 
Dr. Anston Vernon Brax has awarded the degree of Masters in Clinical Radiology. Dr. Veena J. Pinto, Spurti A. Pai, Shruti A. Pai, Dr. Pratima Prabhu, Dr. Roshal Montero, Jostal Pinto, Maitri Diaz, Arun Kumar, Muruga, and Puneet Ye, Ms. Jewel Teresa Jomi, Malar Mati, and Diksha Ekanan, the above faculty members of ours have completed various additional courses and certificate courses for their credit in their respective profession. Our faculty comprise of subject expert too who have made significant contribution in the field of expertise through textbook and chapters. Dr. Padma Jaudaya Kumar, professor in HOD of Pharmacology, has authored two textbooks, namely Pharmacology for Physiotherapy Students, 4th edition, and Pharmacology for Dental and Allied Health Sciences, 5th edition. Dr. Archana Bhatt, Associate Professor of Pathology, has authored a textbook titled Essential of Renal Pathology. Dr. Madhurima A. Nayak, Assistant Professor of Ophthalmology, has authored a textbook titled Clinical Manual of Ophthalmology. Dr. Nishant Baliga, Assistant Professor of Critical Care Medicine. Dr. Nagesh K.R., Professor of Forensic Department. Dr. Roshaniyam, Professor and Head of Medicine and Dr. Jostal Pinto, Associate Professor of Cardiology, has co-authored chapters. Dr. Safan Ahmed and Vimla Kulaso, Faculty of Neurology, co-authored an original article describing India's first case series on unique autoimmune neurological diseases. Our faculty members have many publications in various peer-reviewed journals of national and international repute. Dear faculty members, your thirst for knowledge and your efforts to share your knowledge and wisdom is commendable. As we acknowledge the services rendered by our faculty members, we place on record their extra efforts to make this place a better place for living. The exemplary work of our faculty has received awards and recognitions. Doctors Maitri Diaz, Chrisel Saldana, Archanambat, Bina Anthony, Elroy Saldana, Shripati Kamath, Harish Gowda, have presented papers, posters in various conferences and have won prizes. Congratulations, dear doctors. <laughs> doctors Hilda Fernandez, Maitri Diaz, Prashant Vayam, Shivashankar Ayar, Venkatesh Biyam, Oliver Disoza, Nishant Krishna, and Ms. Shaina Pinto are members of the Board of Studies and examiners for various other institutions. Many of our students have presented scientific papers at various conferences, participated in quiz competitions, and have been rewarded. Doctors Franan de Souza, Jeevan Kumar B, Prina Clarissa Krasta, Vinita P. De Souza, Vaishnavi Ballal, Doctors Vajid Yam, Sayyad Likwat Ali, Gayatri Santosh, Mrunalini Rai, Swati, Dr. Pooja, Dr. Lakshmi, Dr. Melissa Grace. These are our postgraduate residents from various departments who have won prizes for their presentation and bagged prizes in quiz competitions. Dr. Swati, GBB Beni, Divya De Souza, and Sneha, PG residents of dermatology, were awarded dissertation grants. Our MBBS students, Ms. Sandria and De Souza, Saravu Teresa Abraham, Anujit, Aditya Shelley, Jessica Chris, Shreya Satish, Pratiksha, Joseph Paul Arnold have won prizes for their presentations. Anishil Thomas Reji, Glenn Merrill Stephen Rego, Shashank Sheri, Aditya Shelley, Prem Rohan De Souza, Neha Nagaraj Kale, Manish SV, Princita Korea, and Joseph Paul Arnold have won prizes in quiz competition. Ms. Resa Thomas and Washi Hiram, Dr. Mr. Deepesh Chaudhary, Ayush Amresh, Lavanya Gupta, and Kavadi Gagan, Re research proposals were selected for ICMR and Rajiv Gandhi University student grants. Four BSc MLT second year students and VPT students, Mikdat, Gwen, and Siona research projects are selected for Rajiv Gandhi University research grants. Neha Daniel, Abel Jacob, and Kiara secured prizes at PhysioCon for their presentation. At FMCI, we not only focus on academics, 
but we focus on all round development of our students. The report of sports and games speaks volumes about this. We are the regional winners for table tennis men and women, Mysore zone chess team men and women, badminton team men and women, basketball team men, kabaddi men, throwball women. We are winners in badminton men, basketball men and women in Rajiv Gandhi University Interzone Intercollegiate. Mr. R. Vaibhav has won four gold medals, two silver and one bronze medal in aquatics. Rebin Reggie Thomas, batch 2020, became a youngest referee officiate All India Inter University Volleyball Championship. <laughs> Mr. Alan Volivara and Ashish Yachan secured runner up in Mysore Zonal Intercollegiate Kabaddi Tournament. Dear students, you not only excel in academics, your performances and participation in the extracurricular activities make us proud indeed. We are greatly honored to announce the laurels you bring to our institutions with joy and happiness. May God bless you all. From Father Muller Medical College, a total about 20 CME and conferences of state and national level, guest lectures and workshop with hands-on experience, more than 10 outreach activities like awareness program camps were conducted. Eight competitions like quiz, poster and debate were conducted. We encourage and motivate our teachers in upgrading their teaching skills through our active medical education unit, which has conducted several training programs for, our, for the faculty of medical college, including the NMC mandated basic course in medical education. Our MEU consists of well-trained faculty with ACMI, ME, and FAI MER degrees. Our alumni association is another bunch of very active members and conducted alumni talks and seminars. The Kerala sub-chapter was inaugurated at Iduki this year. Father Mulla Charitable Institution is well equipped with state-of-the-art simulation and skill center. Father Mulla Simulation and Skill Center is regularly conducting skill sessions for our medical, nursing, and allied students and faculty. It is the first and only center in the country to receive international accreditation. We take immense pride in the global recognition received for our patient safety programs. Code Blue simulation drills, Raju Gandhi University Jeevaraksha ACLS, ENLS, and many more courses are conducted. Many of our faculty have completed the courses and are certified trainers. Dr. Lulu was appointed as the technical advisory member for establishment of nodal simulation center under Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences. She was also appointed as the chairperson of the curriculum committee for the simulation technician program by Rajiv Gandhi University. Father Mulla Research Center is actively engaged in numerous research projects funded by both internal and external grants, totaling to about rupees five crores. Collaboration have been established with prestigious institution and industry partners including the Indian Institute of Sciences, ICMR, VGST, DST, DBT, and several pharmaceutical companies. Currently, there are 130 ongoing research projects, including 38 institutional grants, 37 external grants, 14 clinical trials, and grants for undergraduate and postgraduate students. The Central Library Committee celebrated the National Library Day on 19th August, 2023. Health Science Books, Exhibition and awareness programs on BMJ, JGate, Turnitin plagiarism software, e content development, author workshop on BMJ case reports, Telenet were conducted. Dear dignitaries on the days, faculty, staff, parents, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, the progress of the units of Father Mullah institutions are purely a sign of teamwork, and this team is headed by our bishop and president of charitable institution, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana. We acknowledge his guidance and support to our director, administrators, and all the management committee members. Thank you, Bishop. I also acknowledge the guidance given by the governing board and centenary charitable society members for the growth of this mighty institution. Paying our tribute and salutation to our founder, Reverend Father Augustine Muller, Praising and trusting in the name of Almighty Jesus Christ, 
here i am concluding my annual report thank you for your patient listening thank you father i now invite our distinguished chief guest dr avs ramesh chandra ifs additional secretary ministry of external affairs government of india new delhi to deliver the graduation address very good afternoon uh, to all of you all um, um your lordship uh, peter paul saldana uh, the uh, reverend bishop of uh, mangalore it's such an honor to be in your presence your lordship um, um father richard colo the director of the uh, fmci uh, the mover and the shaker of this institution without whose guidance and direction and support i suppose the institution wouldn't have reached to the heights that it has today reached um father ajit uh, manasses uh, who has been troubled immensely by me over the past one week uh, to know what my uh, job will be here as the uh, chief guest um faculty members uh, especially members of the governing board of the uh, fmci uh, students uh, graduates uh, graduates uh, parents and uh, uh, those who have come to see uh, their wards pick up uh, the uh, result of years of hard work discipline and conduct in this uh, wonderful institution um i um had uh, a chance your lordship to visit uh, the simulation center uh, briefly uh, uh, very ably headed by dr lulu uh, presently the head of division there i was really impressed looking at uh, the simulation center and the kind of advances the kind of uh, uh, utility that is being served by the simulation center for students um, to understand uh, the importance of the radial vessel to be able to get your pulse i was really impressed by uh, uh, the various classrooms i had a chance to uh, barge into a classroom while a class was still in session to see the young uh, energetic faces there um, i would i wish to also congratulate uh, the uh, dean of the allied health sciences um father ajit uh, uh, and i were traveling uh, to the hotel from the airport at which point in time he made it a point to say sir uh, uh, doctors are there mbbs frcs and so on and so forth but without the participation of say an anesthesia technologist or someone who's a technologist from the operation theater or for that matter pr pr from the diagnostic side the doctor himself is probably helpless um uh and in great measure not as successful as he would have been uh, with a better supportive uh, uh, team from the allied uh, areas which uh, sometimes uh, uh, have a larger than life importance uh, of their own so uh, congratulations to the dean and the entire team at the allied health sciences department which was very correctly uh, set up i think four years ago very timely uh, in my limited assessment um i had a chance to speak to my family this morning and uh, i requested for some inputs any suggestions that uh, you know may be available to me from family um i had only one bit of advice that when you took your bachelor's degree 37 years ago in 1987 what were you what was on top of your mind i said uh, to run grab my degree and throw my cap in the hair so uh, please remember there are 500 graduates who are wanting your dismissal from your microphone in 3 minutes time if you want to wish them just wish them briefly and you know dismiss yourself from the microphone 
I will uh, dismiss myself. I, I shall uh, take the advice of my uh, family. But three very quick points. Um, in life, in a professional's life, irrespective of whether you're a proper surgeon or uh, a technologist uh, in a uh, supportive role uh, to the medical establishment, the institution is looking for growth. Um, but then, in life, there are also two other terms of equal significance. The second is progress. And the third, the much uh, envied success. What is the difference uh, between growth, progress, and success? Seemingly the same things. If there is growth, you know, you're a successful person. No. Growth is when you grow from, say, 10 lakhs to 15 lakhs of profit. Progress is when that profit is earned using ethical conduct and having morality in what you are uh, doing. And then there is success. As a professional, as a young professional, as a uh, uh, middle management grade professional, what kind of uh, um, value systems are you infusing or are introducing into the organization where you're working? If uh, greed looms large in a medical professional's life, it will be a sad day. Fortunately for us, it, is, it has not happened. In the country of 1.42 billion people, we, you still have doctors uh, uh, who uh, have uh, proven to be absolutely selfless when it came to impartation of medical care to the poor and needy. You don't have to go far. You just look at our experience with uh, COVID-19, uh, uh, which uh, struck uh, uh, the country uh, I mean, uh, nothing could have been worse than the epidemic, uh, the scale and proportion uh, by which uh, um, uh, it could have really impacted India. Um, if it has not uh, been such a bad case, it's because of people like y'all who saved uh, uh, lives uh, uh, in the tens of thousands Selfless service, no morning, no evening, no night, working through the day. Also, paramedical uh, staff. I mean, hats off to you all and, and to your very, very noble profession. I don't think there is any profession that is nobler than a medical profession. Next only to our teacher. We are all where we are standing because of our teachers. Um, a second point, I asked my friends who are spread all over the world now, many of them doctors, but also technologists, what would you want me to tell a bunch of medical professionals, all of 500 of them who are running away with their degrees today? And uh, I was very pleased when Reverend Father Coelho told me one of the postgraduate students uh, is actually uh, being inducted as a faculty member or uh, has already been inducted. Uh, I'm so happy. I mean, this is uh, precisely what uh, needs to happen. Giving back something to your alma mater, to your mother that has given you the skills to not just survive, but to spread the message of hope, of uh, uh, human dignity. When uh, the founding father of this very noble institution, Augustus uh, uh, Muller, uh, established this very historic uh, institution way back in 1880, I was told, uh, something like 144 years ago. Uh, these are institutions, uh, uh, these are unfortunately days when institutions are being set up and within four years they're vanishing because of uh, actions that are narrow-minded, actions that are uh, full of greed and uh, um, empowerment of the self over empowerment of the society in which you are living and working. I'll not uh, dwell uh, more into this. I just thought th the need for devotion and dedication to your profession is, I think, most felt today in the medical uh, profession. I don't think any other profession uh, 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 has that kind of urgency. 
uh, in which uh, uh, service to the poor, to the downtrodden, to those who are not as well equipped as some others in terms of uh, financial resources, in terms of capacities and capabilities. If you are able to help at least one family in a day, you must tell yourself, I can sleep very well because I've been able to help this poor family which would have been lost if the breadwinner of a family uh, is not in a position to attend to uh, his work. You can imagine the uh, situation of the, that entire family. And please do not uh, uh, focus unduly on cities. The, the time has come to branch out and any medical professional today telling me there is no money in the rural areas, sir, I, I'm very sorry, uh, I do not entirely agree. There are so many schemes, so many uh, non-governmental organizations as, uh, as uh, eminent as the Father Muller Charitable Institution. There is no dearth of opportunity. You just have to look around, uh, target what you want, and then pursue that uh, dream and ambition in the service of uh, society. And remember that the founding father uh, dispensed homeopathic medicines sitting under a banyan tree. I was so impressed uh, uh, when uh, Reverend Father Coelho showed me the tree, the growth tree of uh, the Father Muller Charitable Institutions. I, I hope uh, it will go from strength to strength. Uh, members of the media who are here should please turn your cameras and look at the size of the audience. I'm sure while you have about 40% uh, of the parents eagerly waiting to see that children uh, receive the awards. Um, I'll just cover one point with your permission and then uh, take your leave. 35 years ago, when I joined the Indian Foreign Service, to the Western world, India appeared to be a country of snake charmers and half-naked uh, saints or sadhus. Today, India, with its 1.42 billion people, uh, is very proud of the fact that we have a demographic dividend when it comes to youngsters like you, who comprise almost one third, slightly more than one third of the country's population. And what kind of one third? This is a young India going abroad, proving itself as a nationality. A, reliable. B, hardworking. C, trustworthy. D, adaptive to the place of uh, their uh, stay. At least do two years of service in this country, if possible in Mangaluru city, if possible within the institution. I'm not saying please do not go to greener pastures. Please do go ahead and learn newer skills without upgrading your skills. This is, uh, uh, these are the times of generative artificial intelligence, for God's sake. If you are not able to cope if, uh, if we are not able to measure up, even in the area of upgradation of skills, I don't think uh, we'll be uh, looking at a leadership position of the kind that you all are looking to uh, sort of achieve. I think I've uh, uh, crossed my promised limit of five minutes uh, by a couple of minutes. I shall uh, hang my uh, uh, case here. I shall rest my case here. All I wish to uh, uh, say is have a great, fantastic career. Sky is the limit. You have all the energy, all the enthusiasm. At the age of 60, please do not uh, expect that your, the levels of your energy will remain the same. As uh, someone who is approaching 60, I can tell you, the amount of energy and enthusiasm you have in your early 20s is something that you will never have, even 15 years from now. So this is the time when the iron has to be hit, it has to be hit, and the iron has to be red. I think this is the time for you all to aim for the moon and probably go beyond that. God bless. Thank you very much for your patient hearing. Thank you, sir, for your precious inputs to our dear students. Your presence here is an inspiration to all of us. Actions speak louder than words. Our guest of honor, Dr. Shubhash Giri, Director, Lady Harding Medical College and Associated Hospitals, New Delhi, is a prime example of this. 
we are privileged to have you in our midst, sir. I request you to address the gathering. Good evening to all and all uh, guests, all my dear friends, all students, teachers, principals, administrators, and the most respected dignitaries on the dais. Aap sabhi ka abhinandan. Respected sir, or most revered Dr. Peter Paul Saldana, Bicep of Mangalore Diversity, I'm really thankful and feel blessed to be on the dais. I had been here in Mangalore second time, this time. Earlier also I had been here in your institute. I have been once, but I was just a guest over here. Sir, I had seen a dramatic change in your institute in the last 10 years and heard a lot about it. The institute started with the treatment of the leprosy with such a legendary and visionary Dr. Father Muller. He has a vision which has made this institute to this extent. Really the history is so worth and so remembering and he will always be remembered in the history of this, this college and the country. Thank you very much to all of you to be the part of this institute. I am really thankful to our revered father Richard Swellio, director of the institute. Sir, you had given me a chance to be here. Thank you very much. I met Dr. A.V.S. Ramesh Chandra first time, a very senior IFS officer, presently as additional secretary with Ministry of External Affairs, Government of India, and really worth eye-opening remarks which is made on the dais. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks to all other dignitaries, you people are really learned and making the society to be more knowledgeable, skillful, and making your graduates and the postgraduates to a level that they can really serve the society in a better way. Dear student, on this graduate ceremony, I congratulate all of you and let's clap for each other this is the celebrations for all of you. Dear students and doctors, the students of the Allied Health Sciences, the students of the College of Physiotherapy, you all people have done a lot of hard work. When you enter into your stream, the day you decide about your vision that you need to be a physiotherapist, a doctor, a nurse, or paramedic. So that day make you the person that you are getting devoted to a society. You have acquired your knowledge. You have acquired skills. You have acquired competency-based skills attitude and behavior. The real mentors are your teachers who are making your path as clear as it should be. Now the two points which I want to highlight among all of our young graduates who will be doctors for tomorrow and who will be the future of the country. As you know, our country is of the young people. And you are the people in last 20 years. You have seen the changes in the technology. You have seen the changes in the man's behavior also. I'll request all of you that growing, developing, acquiring education and going ahead in all the aspect whether it be the medical science, whether it be the defense, or whether it be the astronomy. 
we have gone to the moon we have go, we are planning to go further our missions have gone to the to the further will be will be going into the exploring the sun also so we are growing day by day but one thing which always causes one deep hole in my heart is that we are running towards the money we are running behind the money we are in a rat race of acquiring the money recently we had a convocation in our institute where honorable president of india respected madam shrimati draupadi murmu ji was there and addressing the convocation she said डॉक्टर पैसे के पीछे ना जाए डॉक्टर सेवा करे हमारे देश में विविधता बहुत है अनेकता बहुत है सभी तरह के समाज का सेवा करे उनकी लाइनों को फर्दर इलेबोरेट करते हुए एज यू पीपल ऑल नो the differences of education differences of economy money the differences of this our in cultures social behaviors even in our genders rural urban or be it a geographic area you find the people who are not getting the adequate cares and the gap when we see between the money between the rich and the poor the gap is increasing day by day so where are we heading we are heading towards the major gaps in the health care because money is required to have a good health in this country as on today we the charitable institutes we the government institutes are putting lot of efforts still a poor people who is residing in remote areas a poor people who is from a very low background the poor people who doesn't acquire the education the poor people who doesn't have any money some people even grab their all essentials in a small bag and keep them on their head and move from their place and if anybody becomes ill in their country in oh sorry in their house these people do not have a penny and the people of the lower other lower groups who have some land some house or something sometime they sell their house to get the treatment of their family members it is becoming very costly so only i request to all of my graduates ki today you give one minute to yourself आप चिंतन करिए एक मिनट बैठ के इस देश ने मुझे सब कुछ दिया है इस सोसाइटी ने मुझे बहुत कुछ दिया है तो मेरा क्या फर्ज बनता है इस कंट्री के लिए इस सोसाइटी के लिए जो शब्द हमारे ऑनरेबल प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया ने बोले उस पर गौर कीजिएगा अपना एटीट्यूड नॉलेज स्किल डेवलपमेंट उसको डे बाय डे इंप्रूव कीजिए यू विल बिकम एन एसेट टू दिस कंट्री बी ए ह्यूमन फर्स्ट एंड देन द डॉक्टर ऑलवेज बी ह्यूमेन ह्यूमिलिटी शुड बी योर प्रिंसिपल एंड इफ यू टेक दीज थिंग्स यू विल ऑलवेज बी सेटिस्फाइड इन योर लाइफ अदरवाइज इन दिस कंपिटेटिव वर्ल्ड देयर इज नो way to end every time we keep on running from one pillar to the other from one post to the other so my dear friends all the parents teachers ladies and gents these young bloods who are our energy we should always give them boost that their morale should be high to serve the society thank you very much thanks a lot thank you very much thank you sir
Thank you, sir, for motivating and enlightening the minds of our students. I now invite the President of Adhamulla Charitable Institutions and the Bishop of Mangalore Diocese, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Sildana, to deliver the presidential address. Respected Director, Father Richard Coelho, the Chief Guest of the Day, Dr. A.V.S. Ramesh Chandra, IFS, the Guest of Honor, Dr. Subhash Giri, the Administrators, members of the Governing Board, the faculty, the staff, students, parents, well-wishers, all of you, I greet you with the warmest greetings of the day. At the outset, I congratulate all the graduates who have come to this level and have left a mark in the history of this institute and their own personal history. And it will remain because 2024 is the patch that you are going out and sure you will remember this day, a very special day for you and for all of us. On this day, uh, other activity has stopped to focus on the achievement of our students. Father Muller, the charitable institutions, the premier institutions rejoice because of our alumni and alumni who have jumped over many hurdles to share the joy of victory. The institutes like Father Muller Medical College, Allied Health Sciences, the Physiotherapy and the Speech and Hearing Colleges today showcase their hard labor of these past years. When our students came into the portals of this institute, they came with great expectations. Today, their dreams are fulfilled and they are ready to launch into the real world with a skill in their hand, with knowledge in their minds, and with determination in their hearts. Our students are our standard bearers. They are our invaluable treasure. And I thank you, students. I congratulate you for choosing Father Muller's as your training ground. Congratulations. Dear students, what has the institute given to you? You alone can testify and narrate. You are also witnesses what you have given to the institutions. Because every lecturer, every professor, management grows because of your presence and because of your questions, and because of the challenges that you pose to the present day uh, teaching faculty. Therefore, every question that you pose, every challenge you put forward becomes a triggering point for further research. I'm sure you have done a lot that way to train your own faculty as they were training you. This mutual training takes place every day for the staff and the students, for the patients and for their bystanders, their attenders, this house has become a house of hope. It is a home of relief, of suffering. Every possible effort is done to bring relief to the suffering humanity. As they get inside the main gate, I'm sure they come with great desire. I'll be all right now because there are good doctors here, good nurses here, and there's good medical care. They come with hope. And as they come in, if you inject together with the medicine some more hope in their hearts, in their spirits, they will really grow joyful and healthier earlier. 
So this is our task, to inject hope into the hearts of the patients who come to us with great expectation and they entrust themselves into our hands. Our young doctors and all those who are trained here will go out with the echo of the motto ringing incessantly in their heart, heal and comfort, heal and comfort. As the heart beats, I'm sure these two words with a and copula that will connect all the beats of your heart and it will vibrate with the heartbeat of your patients. Let it continuously vibrate for one another. On the side of the management, we have decided to give the best possible remedies with affordable cost. Year after year, new machinery is procured for diagnosis and adequate therapies are designed and administered. This year, the people have availed a lot of concessions from the hospital. A hospital as it began with the original dream of Father Muller is a hospital for the poor. And I was told by Father Richard that to the tune of 70 crores of rupees have been dispersed this current year, which would mean it's a huge amount of outreach. <laughs> Kankanadi means health and healing. Kankanadi means hope and great joy in the heart, the desire for living. Dear graduates, carry the flame of love and compassion wherever you go. Go tell everyone what the Lord has done. Jesus said once to a person he healed and said go and tell everyone what God has done. You also go and tell everyone what the Lord has done in your life. God has been walking with you in your struggles. It has not been an easy journey I'm sure every day. I remember in the early years when I was serving in a parish, one doctor, young doctor, he failed several times. He had a tough time. He showed me all the bones that he has collected for his uh, uh, studies and failing one after another attempt, but said, no, I must do it, I must do it. And someone putting in a little hope, he managed it. It is accompaniment, it is strengthening the other. And I'm sure the parents have done it. Our parents are really precious to us. Our parents, dear parents, I thank you for choosing Father Mullers and I thank you for trusting us and entrusting your children into our care. God bless you and these children will be growing higher, faster and stronger as the motto of Olympics says. They will certainly give you great joy and bring great light into your families. I wish you all the best, graduates today and the faculty here and everyone present here. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Your Excellency, for your words of blessing. Dear students, today is a milestone in your lives, a reminder of how you have grown as a doctor, a physiotherapist, an allied health personnel, and a human. It signifies an ending, but also a beginning. It's a portal leading you through the warm memories of the past, onwards to big dreams for your future. Today, we honor the graduates of Father Muller Charitable Institution and bestow upon them these prestigious degrees, hoping and wishing they use their education as their most powerful tool as they leave their alma mater to venture out into the world. I request the audience to kindly refrain from leaving your seats and approaching the dais to take pictures of your awards as it may hinder the smooth proceeding of the solemn occasion. An official photographer has been appointed to capture the profiles of each of your awards. Also, live streaming of the ceremony will be available on the institutional website. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall now commence the graduation ceremony where we honor our graduates and bestow the degrees that they have secured through their hard work and perseverance. We begin the graduation ceremony with the Father Muller College of Allied Health Sciences. I now call upon Dr. Hilda de Souza, Principal, Father Muller College of Allied Health Sciences, to present the graduates of BSc Medical Laboratory Technology, BSc Medical Imaging Technology, BSc Anesthesia Technology, BSc Operation Theatre Technology, BSc Anesthesia and Operation Theatre Technology, 
BSA renal dialysis technician and BSC radiotherapy courses and administer the oath of an allied health professional to them. I request our chief guest and the guest of honor to present the certificates to the graduates. Respected dignitaries on the days of the days, ladies and gentlemen, I am pleased to present before you graduates of our college. Firstly, BSc Medical Laboratory course. Ms. Angel G. Vita D'Souza, Ms. Anu Jihan PM. Ms. Aisha Amrain, Ms. Chaitanya Nayak. Ms. Delicia Genevieve Lobo, Mr. Nazareth Melroy Francis. Ms. Nia Chinnu Kuryakos, Mr. Nidish Kumar. Ms. Nidia Cyril Jagdish Fernandez, Ms. Priya S. Ms. Priya S. Ms. Zabat Sheikh. Ms. Saumya Jos, Ms. Tina Jasmine Disoza. Ms. Tirsa Jensita James, Mr. Vinayak Bajantri. Ms. Vinet Devisha Disoza. BSc Medical Imaging Technology. Ms. Celia Lisa Lobo. Ms. Devu Syam. Mr. James Thomas. Ms. Lijina Tankachan. Ms. Lili Reshma Ekka. Ms. Namita Maria Anil. Mr. Naisal Naisan. Mr. Nikhil Babu. Ms. Nimi Kurian, Ms. Pagadala Gita. Ms. Prishal Disoza, Mr. Prithvisha GM. Mr. Rakshit, Ms. Silo George. Mr. Thomas Sebastian, Mr. Wilson Joel Coelho, BSc Radiotherapy Technology, Ms. Annette Sara Manoj, Mr. Brannett Joseph Fernandez, Ms. Fatima Raiza, Ms. Javel Dimello. Ms. Melissa Rose, Mr. Shain Shaji, Mr. Elchuri Tarun Kumar, BSc Anesthesia Technology, Mr. Doyle Anto Ignatius, BSc Operation Theatre Technology, Ms. Archana V, BSc Anesthesia and Operating Theatre Technology, Ms. Ajnu Sharif, Ms. Anaga A.S. Ms. Ann Maria Joseph, Ms. Ann Maria Sebi. Ms. Asiya Hina K.H., Ms. Aisha Sama. Ms. Esther Shiba J. Ms. Gopika K.V. Ms. Kirti S.P. Mr. Mohamad Sabas T.P. Niranjana Kannan P.V. Ms. Nishana M.S. Ms. Parvati Sajivan. Ms. Prinoska Perpetual Barato. Ms. Ramzin, Ms. Reshma Vishwanathan, 
Ms. Getsia Alice Rani. Renal Dialysis Technology, Mr. Jarin Joy, Mr. Vishnu Ovi. Kindly rise. Please extend your right arm forward and repeat after me. I solemnly pledge myself before God to practice my profession with dedication and professional competence. I will consider the welfare of my patient and respect all life human dignity and rights in the practice of my profession. I promise to abide by the laws governing my profession, follow safe work practices, and ensure patient safety at all times. Please lower your arm. Turn the tassel from left to right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, sirs. Thank you, ma'am and the graduates. I now call upon Professor Charisma De Silva, Principal, Father Mullum College of Physiotherapy, to present the graduates of Bachelor of Physiotherapy and administer the oath of a physiotherapist. I request our chief guest and the guest of honor to present the certificates to the graduates. A very good evening to dignitaries on the dais, off the dais, dear graduates, proud parents, all the faculties. I'm here to present before you the graduates of Bachelors in Physiotherapy from the Father Muller College of Physiotherapy. Mr. Abel Thomas Jacob, Ms. Ajina Reggie. Mr. Ajit Pereira, Ms. Alina Peter Phillip. Mr. Alex Raju, Ms. Anthony Lutz. Ms. Ashley Joji, Ms. Bella Maria Vinci. Ms. Bridita, Brigitta Jacob, Ms. Kastin Alicia Kevin. Ms. Jamella Ria, Ms. Dia Mary Raji. Ms. Dia Matthew, Ms. Eden Naomi Rosario. Ms. Gagana, Mr. Hassan Musamilji. Ms. Lakwin Ravina de Souza, Ms. Mahima and Matthew. Ms. Malavika PS, Ms. Malavika S. Nair. Ms. Maria Scholl de Souza, Ms. Milna A.S. Ms. Molly Pinto, Ms. Navina A.J. Ms. Neetu Gopinath, Ms. Neha and Daniel. Ms. Neva Matthew, Ms. Pratvi Renal Almeida. Ms. Reenu Ranjan, Mr. Saldana Lance Rocky.
Mr. Sampras de Souza, Ms. Sandra Maria Basil. Ms. Seema Nayak, Ms. Sarao Asnit Gerald. Ms. Shana Ashil de Souza, Ms. Shreya Noronna. Ms. Shri Padma Jain, Ms. Silvita Naslin Prasta. Ms. Sonora Janis Koda, Ms. Smriti Sudhir Kulal. Ms. Neha Grace Varki, Ms. Telvin Alicia D. Almeida. Ms. Sweetie De Souza, Ms. Manchita Nandakumar. Ms. Tinu Tangachin. I request you all to kindly rise. and stretch your right hand and repeat after me the oath of a physiotherapist. I shall in thought, word and deed be ever honest in the discharge of my duties and uphold the dignity and integrity of my profession and the honor and the name of my university and my alma mater. I pledge to uphold and advance social order and the well-being of my fellow members and shall devote all my energy to promote the unity, integrity and secular ideal of my country, I swear to sincerely endeavor to serve the afflicted, sick and ailing patients under my care and all those who need my services to the best of my ability without any consideration of caste, creed or status. Kindly lower your arms. As a symbol of completion of your degree, please take this moment to celebrate your well-earned achievement by turning your tassel from left to right. Your hard work and dedication has finally paid off, dear students. Hearty congratulations on your graduation. Thank you. Thank you, sirs. Thank you, ma'am and the graduates. I now invite Dr. Anthony Sylvan de Souza, Dean, Fathamulla Medical College, to present the graduates of MBBS and to administer the oath of a physician to the graduates. I request our chief guest and guest of honor to present the certificates to the medical graduates. Dignitaries, on the days and off the days, warm greetings. Dr. Errol Alicia Montero, Dr. Aaron San D'Souza. Dr. Aaron Denzil Lobo, Dr. Abhishek Shivhare. Dr. Adarsh Govindraj, Dr. Ahana. Dr. Aishwarya Prakash Kani, Dr. Akil Kurian John. Dr. Alan 
Ryan Lobo, Dr. Alicia Hayden Pinto. Dr. Alan John Jason, Dr. Alan Rovian Pinto. Dr. Amal Thomas, Dr. Amit G. J. Kuruvitadam. Dr. Amrit Smirk, Dr. Amrita Nandakumar. Dr. Ansi Neha, Dr. Angel Boban. Dr. Ann James, Dr. Anthony Christopher. Dr. Arati, Dr. Athena Miriam Thomas. Dr. Avin Gibson Peter, Dr. Aishman Singh. Dr. Bharat Nama, Dr. Namira Fatima. Dr. Chaitanya K.S., Dr. Chandana Priya. Dr. Dina Mary Edward, Dr. Deepthi Natalia Furtado. Dr. Delia Tangam Sajan, Dr. Devika Ravindran. Dr. Dinesh Kumar, Dr. Edwin Jose. Dr. Gagan Dotrad, Dr. Gio Roy. Dr. George Joe Matthew, Dr. Grishal Sanjana Quadrus. Dr. Grishma Sham, Dr. Gummadi Lalitya Supriya. Dr. Harit G. Aitar, Dr. Harshid Bajaj. Dr. Ritika V. Dr. Inamuddin. Dr. Jeffrey J. S. Dr. Jennifer A. Dr. Jerry Babu, Dr. Jessica Lilly De Souza. Dr. Jokunda Maria Gomendis, Dr. John Vettatu. Dr. Joel Johns and Dr. Judy V. Benny. Dr. K.P. Arun Pratijna, Dr. Visha Nambiar. Dr. Kamya Singh, Dr. Kevin Minages. Dr. Kevin Raju, Dr. Kiran Kumar Math. Dr. Kritika K.H., Dr. Lavika Leesha Oliveira. Dr. Lehan Ashok Edwin Rebello, Dr. M. Sharon Rose. Dr. Manasa Karan, Dr. Manav Dakkan. 
ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮರಿಯಾ ವಿನ್ಸಿ ಆಂಟನಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮರಾಯಾ ಮೇರಿಯಂ ಈಪನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮೇಗನ್ ಸಾರಾ ಡಿಸೋಜಾ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮೆಲಿಷಾ ಗಿಸೆಲ್ ಡಿಸೋಜಾ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮೇರ್ಲಿನ್ ಜಾರ್ಜ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮೊಯಿಸಿನ್ ಅಹಸಾನ್ ಆಲಿ ಲೋಹವಾಲ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮೋನಿಕಾ ಕಾರಂತ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮೋನೀಶ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನಮ್ರತಾ ಶೇಖರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನತೇಶ್ ದೇರ್ಕಾಜೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನಾವೇದ್ ಅಹಮದ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನೇಹಾ ಅನು ಜೇಮ್ಸ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನೇಹಲ್ ಜಾಯ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನೀಲ್ ರಸೆಲ್ ಡಿಸೋಜಾ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ನಿಖಿಲ್ ಗೊಡೆಮಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪೆಟ್ರೀಷಿಯಾ ಡಾಲಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರಜ್ವಲ್ ಪಿನೆಹಾಸ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರಶಾಂತ್ ಪಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರತೀಕ್ಷಾ ಪ್ರಭು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯೂಷ್ ಗೌಡ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರತ್ಯೂಷಿ ಎಂ ಆರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರವೀಣ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರೇರಣಾ ದಾಸ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಾಂಕಾ ಎ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಆರ್ ಶಶಾಂಕ್ ರೆಡ್ಡಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರೇಷಲ್ ಮೇರಿಯನ್ ಅಲ್ಬುಕೆರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರಾಘವ್ ಎಸ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರಘುನಂದನ್ ಉದಿಹಾಲ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರಾಹುಲ್ ಚವಾಣ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರತಿಕ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರವಿಕಿರಣ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರಿಯಾನ್ ಡೆಕ್ಸ್ಟನ್ ನರೋನ್ನ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರಿಚರ್ಡ್ ಮೆಲ್ರಾಯ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರಿಫಾ ರೆಹಮಾನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರಿತೇಶ್ ಡಾಯಸ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರೋಶ್ನಿ ಜೋಸೆಫಿನ್ ಸಿಕ್ವೇರಾ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರಾಯನ್ ಎಸ್ ಗಿಲ್ಬರ್ಟ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಾಗರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಮೃದ್ಧಿ ಎಂ ಎಸ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಮ್ಯಕ್ ಜೈನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಡ್ರಾ ಪೌಲ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಡ್ರಿಯಾ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಸೋಜಾ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸ್ಯಾಂಡ್ರಿಲ್ಲಾ ಲೋಬೋ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಂತೋಷ್ ಚಂದ್ರಶೇಖರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶಮಾ ಕೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶರನ್ ಸೂಸನ್ ಶಾಜನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಾಜಿಯಾ ಬಾನು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶಿಯಾನ್ ಫಿಲಿಪ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶಿವಾನಿ ಅಜಯ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರಾವ್ಯ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರವ್ಯಜ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀನಿಧಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೇಯಾ ಜಗದೀಶ್ ಆಚಾರಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀನಿಧಿ 
ಹೂವಿನ ಹೊಳೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರೀಯಾ ಜಿ ಅಗರ್ವಾಲ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಶ್ರದ್ಧಾ ಕಾಮತ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸಿದ್ಧಾರ್ಥ್ ಎಂ ಸಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸ್ನೇಹ ಆಲಿಸ್ ಜೇಕಬ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸೋನಾ ಪೋಲಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸೋನು ಆರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸುಧೀರ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸುಕೃತಿ ಭಟ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸುಮಾ ಮ್ಯಾಥ್ಯೂ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸುಷ್ಮಿತಾ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸುಶ್ರಾವ್ಯ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸೈಯದ್ ರೋಷನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ತನ್ಜೀರಾ ಫರ್ವೀನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ತುಷಾರ ಕಿರಣ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಟೀನಾ ಸೂಸನ್ ಪಾಲ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಉಜ್ವಲ್ ಪಿಂಟೋ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವೈಷ್ಣವಿ ಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಂಶ್ ರೇಲಾನ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಎಸ್ ಶಿಂದೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿಂಧ್ಯಾ ಕೆ ಎಸ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿನಿತಾ ವಿನಿತ್ ವಿನಿತಾ ಕೆ ಬಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿನೋದ್ ಎಂ ನರಗುಣ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿಶಾಲ್ ದಾರ್ಸಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಾರ್ದ ರಶೀದ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಯಾಶಿಕ ಬನ್ಸಾಲ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಜಿಯಾನ್ ಮಹಿಮಾ ಸಿರಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಜೊಹರಾ ಮಜ್ನಾ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಜೋರಾ ಶಿಮಾ ಎಂ ಬಿ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ರೈಸ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಚ್ ಯುವರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಆರ್ಮ್ ಫಾರ್ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಮೀ ಓತ್ ಆಫ್ ಫಿಸಿಷನ್ ಐ ಸಾಲಂಬ್ಲಿ ಪ್ಲೆಜ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ to consecrate my life to the service of humanity even under threat i will not use my medical knowledge contrary to the laws of humanity i will maintain the utmost respect for human life from the time of conception i will not permit considerations of religion nationality race party politics or social standing to intervene between my duty and my patient i will practice my profession with conscience and dignity the health of my patient will be my first consideration i will respect the secrets which are confided in me i will give to my teachers the respect and gratitude which is their due i will maintain by all means in my power the honor honor and noble traditions 
of medical profession. I will treat my colleagues with all respect and dignity. I shall abide by the code of medical ethics as enunciated by the National Medical Commission. I make these promises solemnly, freely, and upon my honor. Kindly lower your arm. Turn the tassels from left to right. Hearty congratulations and all the very best. Thank you, sirs and graduates. I now request Dr. Sweeta Dikuna, Professor and Course Coordinator, Master in Hospital Administration, to present the postgraduates of MSc Medical Laboratory Technology, Masters in Hospital Administration, and Masters in Physiotherapy courses. I request the Chief Guest and the Guest of Honor to present the certificates to the graduates. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased to announce the pros graduates of Medical Lab Technology, Hospital Administration, and Physiotherapy. So to begin with, the MSc MLT postgraduates, Ms. Fatima M.A., Jocelyn Harriet D. Almeida. Karishma Bangera Lekna. Meeda Parichin Ranjit DJ. Ranjita V. Sindhu. T.G. Biju Yoganand Masters in Hospital Administration Ajit Disoza, Anusha Disoza, Arya Asha Thomas Chris Joan Diana Pearl De Souza Dikshita Rani Devika Drishal De Souza Flavian Joy De Souza Glaina de Souza, Juvita de Souza, Kripa Esther, Leandra Dale Menezes, Lolita Mercy Monis, Manuel Cutino. Pratiba N.M. Princita Joslina Lobo. Renisha Disoza Cheryl Melisha Vaz. Shibi George Shivani Bangera. Shreya Butt Sneha Stanley Sneha De Souza Sonali Rodriguez Sorry. 
वनीशा मेहरी मिरांदा मास्टर्स इन फिजियोथेरेपी बेरेटो जीन जेन आयरन मेलनी पिंटो जासिम जुनेद शरण्या शेठ गौरी प्रभाकर स्वाति उपाध्या Vasudha and Vidisha Pai Hearty congratulations dear post graduates Okay one second Up Kezia Pinto Thank you, sirs. Thank you, ma'am and the graduates. I now request Dr. Venkatesh B.M., Vice Dean, Padamula Medical College, to present the postgraduates of PG Medical Degree and MCH Urology. I request our chief guest and guest of honor to present the certificates. Respected dignitaries on the dais, off the dais, ladies and gentlemen, I feel proud to announce the names of postgraduates, graduates. Dr. Akshay K. Dr. Annabelle Josh. Dr. Navya Anna Paul. Dr. Chandan N. Dr. Priya Anusha Disoza. Dr. Chelsea Sarai Miranda. Dr. Mahima Kandige, Dr. Maurice Ashin. Dr. Shilpa A, Dr. Niranjan Murthy. Dr. Suvida D. Kamat, Dr. Nitin Koshi Philip, Dr. Adarsh Surendran, Dr. Prajwal Pai, Dr. Ann Matsi Matthew, Dr. Renier Borges. Dr. Anusha Antine Leh Dias, Dr. Venkatraman Satish Joshi, Dr. Balasani Nagesh, Dr. Abhay M. Philip, Dr. Jessica Abraham, Dr. Chetna Harish Mulya. Dr. Divya Baju Parampat, Dr. Sujan N. Dr. Melita Ethel De Silva, Dr. Pallavi S. Dr. Clinton Castellino, Dr. Sanjana P. Arjun. Dr. P. Vaishali, Dr. Shivaraj S. Manyagyal, Dr. Shivaraj, 
संजना अर्जुन वैष्णवी डॉक्टर शिवराज डॉक्टर रोजिना एन आर ए डॉक्टर सुधारक हेच डॉक्टर संजना एना अब्राम डॉक्टर जिसी जॉय डॉक्टर थनु किरण के डॉक्टर तेजस्वी डॉक्टर मेघा अन्नया डॉक्टर कन्या निर्मल डॉक्टर मिनी मथाय डॉक्टर नेहा कैरेन फर्नांडिस डॉक्टर अल्मा स्वाति डिसोजा डॉक्टर वर्षा सीवी डॉक्टर आयशा अब्ना डॉक्टर चेतना सुल्तानपुरी डॉक्टर जॉर्जिना जॉर्ज डॉक्टर जॉर्जिना जॉर्ज डॉक्टर जेसन ग्लेन डिसोजा सॉरी हाँ आई लियो वर्गीस मालती बट डॉक्टर वेनिसा फर्नांडिस डॉक्टर रिया सुजान जॉन डॉक्टर रूबी क्रिस्टी डॉक्टर चार्ल्स पॉल डॉक्टर समंता वलानी नजरत डॉक्टर सुष्मिता के थॉमस डॉक्टर श्रेया अडवालनाथ डॉक्टर जल्फा अब्दुल अजीज डॉक्टर अमंदा लविटा लोबो डॉक्टर स्वाति यूके डॉक्टर अंकिता शिबु रॉबर्ट डॉक्टर अनुषा रॉनविल सराव डॉक्टर लेस्टर फ्रैंक डॉक्टर एलिशा मेरी फर्टाडो डॉक्टर सौम्या के एस डॉक्टर मरिया सुष्मिता डॉक्टर उज्ज्वल यु सुवर्ण डॉक्टर रीना वी के डॉक्टर विलबर लियांडर कुटीना डॉक्टर शारन जोसेफ एम सी एच यूरोलॉजी डॉक्टर निपुण बांसल कंग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल द पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट्स थैंक यू सर्स थैंक यू ग्रेजुएट्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वी हैव थ्री हंड्रेड एंड नाइंटी टू ग्रेजुएट्स एंड दर अनफर्गेटेबल मोमेंट इन द लाइन लाइट Join us in congratulating the fresh graduates by giving a hearty round of applause to all of them and to all the proud parents as well. Thank you.
As a mark of loyalty and reverence for the nurturing qualities the institution has imbued in the graduates thus far, which in turn has made this day possible, I request everyone to rise in respect for the institutional anthem. On behalf of graduates of MBBS, Allied Health Sciences and Physiotherapy, Dr. Raghunandan Nodial shall deliver the response to the graduation address as an expression of the graduates' senti sentiments and gratitude. Respected dignitaries on and off the dais, faculty members, proud parents, and dear graduates. I, Raghunandan, MBBS batch of 2018, with great honor stand before you to deliver a response on behalf of all my peer graduates of MBBS, Physiotherapy, and Allied Health Sciences present on this day. First and foremost, I want to express my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you. We have worked tirelessly overcoming obstacles, late nights, and countless challenges to reach this pivotal moment. Today, we celebrate not only our academic achievements, but also resilience, determination, and perseverations that have brought us here. I fondly recall on inaugural day, where our eager eyes envisioned the glorious years ahead. The anatomy dissection hall, the memories of gently pricking our fingers in the physiology lab and the biochemistry lab are unforgettable. Little did we know that we would be tested in a ways we could never have imagined. The COVID-19 pandemic swept across the globe, disrupting our life, altering the plans, and challenging our resilience. Our regular classes have transformed to online, presenting us a new learning experience. I'm grateful to all the professors and management for unwavering support during these challenging times. As we entered our clinical year, we gained invaluable clinical knowledge through our interactions with patients. They have served as our teacher, helping us enhance our skills. On this occasion, I would likely to express my heartfelt gratitude to all the patients who have contributed to our learning journey. I extend my sincere gratitude to Bishop of Mangalore Diocese, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana, President of Father Mother Charitable Institution, for his invaluable guidance and support to the institution. I want to express my appreciation to our director, Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Coelho, our dedicated administrator, Reverend Father Ajit B. Menezes, 
and Dean Dr. Anthony Selvin de Souza for their tireless effort. Thank you, sir. I extend my sincere thanks to all the priests, our professors, staffs, and nurse, and our friends for their instrumental role in shaping us in who we are today. It's essential to take a moment to express our deepest gratitude to all those who have been our unwavering pillars of support throughout this journey. To our beloved parents, words seem insufficient to convey the depth of appreciation for everything you have done. From the very beginning, you believed in us, nurturing our dreams and aspirations with boundless love and encouragement. You have sacrificed so much to provide us with the opportunities and resources needed to pursue our education. Thank you for believing in us, for cheering on us, for being our constant source of strength. We dedicate this milestone to you with heartful love, love and gratitude. The field of medicine holds a special role in society. As healers and caregivers, we will have the privilege and responsibility of touching life, elevating suffering and promoting health and well-being. As we embark on this new chapter, remember the values that has guided us so far compassion, integrity, empathy, and commitment to lifelong learning. These virtues will serve as a compass to navigate our complexities in the medical profession. In closing, I urge our graduates to embrace the opportunities that lie ahead with courage and enthusiasm. Remember, the journey of 1,000 miles begins with a single step, and today marks the beginning of a remarkable journey filled with endless possibilities. Congratulations, my friends. May your future brighter, May your aspirations lofty and ever impact profound. Thank you and have a delightful evening. Thank you, Dr. Raghunandan, for reminiscing about your years spent in this institution and for expressing your gratitude towards your alma mater. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to honor the meritorious graduates for their outstanding performance in academics and other fields. I invite Dr. Jacinta Martis, Professor and Head, Department of Dermatology, Father Muller Medical College, to list the names of the awardees. I request our guest of honor to award the meritorious students. Respected dignitaries on the days of the days, ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to announce the academic prizes of the various colleges under Father Muller Charitable Institutions who have brought glory to our institution. Father Muller Medical College, Final MBBS Part 2 Examinations held in February 2023, Reverend Dr. Lawrence C. De Souza Prize for overall highest marks awarded to Dr. Arati. Late Srimati and Sri M. Ramana Alva Prize sponsored by Dr. J.P. Alva in memory of his parents for highest marks in medicine awarded to Dr. Chandana Priya. <laughs> Professor B. Sanjeev Rai Prize for highest marks in pediatrics goes to Dr. Ariel Alisha Montero. Professor S. Raghunath Shetty Prize for highest marks in surgery, including orthopedics, awarded to Dr. Sandria Ann De Souza. <laughs> Professor Bharati V. Baliga Prize for highest marks in obstetrics and gynecology is awarded to Dr. Mohsin Hassan Ali Lohawala. Father Muller College of Allied Health Sciences, highest marks in final B.Sc. Medical Lab Technology University Examination held in November 2023, awarded to Ms. Tina Jasmine De Souza. <music> highest marks in final B.Sc. Medical Imaging Technology University Examination held in November 2023, awarded to Mr. Wilson Joel Coelho. Highest marks secured in final year B.Sc. Radiotherapy Technology University Examination held in November 2023 awarded to Ms. Jewel Dumello. 
highest marks in BSc Anesthesia and Operation Theatre Technology, University Examination held in November 2023, awarded to Ms. Reshma Vishwanathan. Prize sponsored by Mr. Wilson Desa in memory of late Salvador Desa Kalyanpur for securing highest aggregate marks in third and fourth semester masters in hospital administration, university examination held in May 2023 and November 2023 awarded to Ms. Dishal Floyni de Souza. Highest marks secured in final year MSc Medical Lab Technology, university examination held in November 2023 awarded to Ms. Karishma K. Bangera. Padamulla College of Physiotherapy, late for the Lawrence V. M. Fernandez Memorial Prize for securing highest marks overall in Bachelor of Physiotherapy, for the Ignatius de Souza Award for securing highest marks in physiotherapy subjects, and highest marks secured in final year BPT, University Examination held in November 2023, is awarded to Ms. Alina Peter Philip. Highest marks secured in final year Master of Physiotherapy University Examination held in November 2023 awarded to Ms. Vidisha 5B. The following students have secured overall ranks in the university examination held in by the Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences Bengaluru. MCH Urology University Examination held in 2023 Dr. Nipun Bansal first rank. He has been awarded gold medal by Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences, Bengaluru during the 26th convocation held on 27th February 2024 for completing course in minimum possible duration and securing highest marks in MCS Urology. PG Medical Degree in University Examination held in 2023, MD Microbiology, Dr. Sharon Joseph, third rank. Psychiatry, Dr. P. Vaishali, 5th rank. MD, Dermatology, Venerology and Leprosy, Dr. Suvida D. Kamath, 5th rank. MD Pathology, Dr. Maria Sushmita L, 6th rank. MS Orthopedics, Dr. Ujwal U. Swarna, 7th rank. MD Pathology, Dr. Anush Ronvil Saravo, 9th rank. MD Radio Diagnosis, Dr. Vanessa Fernandez, 9th rank. MD Radio Diagnosis, Dr. Maluti S. Bhatt, 10th rank. Mr. Vaibhav Shet, MBBS student of our college, has represented Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences, Karnataka, Bengaluru in All India Inter-University Aquatics Men and Women Tournament 2023-24. Postgraduate Allied Courses, Master in Hospital Administration, Ms. Dikshita Rani, first rank. Dishal Floyni de Souza, 8th rank. Miss Devika PM, 9th rank. MSc Medical Laboratory Technology, Miss Karishma K. Bangera, 1st rank. Ms. 
ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಥರ್ಡ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಜಾಸ್ಲಿನ್ ಹ್ಯಾರಿಯಟ್ ಡಿ ಅಲ್ಮೇಡಾ ಏತ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ರಂಜಿತ್ ಡಿ ಜೆ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಮಿಸ್ ರಂಜಿತಾ ವಿ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಲೇಖನ ಸೆವೆಂತ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಟಿ ಜಿ ಎಂ ಬಿಜು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಮೇಧಾ ಪೆಡಿನ್ ಚರಟ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಯೋಗಾನಂದ್ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗ್ರಾಜ್ಯುಯೇಟ್ ಅಲೈಡ್ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಸಿ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಇಮೇಜಿಂಗ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಾಲಜಿ ಮಿಸ್ ಅನುಪಮ ರಾಯ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಮಾಸ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಫಿಸಿಯೋಥೆರಪಿ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಎಂ ಪಿ ಟಿ ಕಾರ್ಡಿಯೋ ವ್ಯಾಸ್ಕುಲರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಲ್ನರಿ ಸೈನ್ಸಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ ವಿದಿಶಾ ಪೈ ಬಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಕಾರ್ಡಿಯೋ ವ್ಯಾಸ್ಕುಲರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಲ್ನರಿ ಸೈನ್ಸಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ ಶೇಟ್ ಯೂಲರ್ಕರ್ ಗೌರಿ ಪ್ರಭಾಕರ್ ಟೆಂತ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಕಂಗ್ರಾಚುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಅವಾರ್ಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಸರ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಕಂಗ್ರಾಚುಲೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದಿ ವಿನರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಆಸ್ಪೈ ಟು ಅಚೀವ್ ಲಾಫ್ಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಗೋಲ್ಸ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಗ್ರಾಜುಯೇಟ್ಸ್ your hard work and discipline will finally be rewarded i invite reverend father ajit bimenesis our administrator to announce the names of pupils receiving academic excellence awards the best outgoing students and the recipient of president's gold medal to acknowledge their accomplishment i request most reverend dr peter paul saldana bishop of mangalore diocese to honor the awardees best dissertation award for the medical post graduate instituted by dr b sanjeev rai for the year 2023 awarded to dr ishwar gowda department of orthopedics he is absent today but we congratulate him and also dr sanjeev rai for sponsoring this award silver medal for the best outgoing post graduate student award 2023 in the department of general medicine sponsored by dr venkatesh bm in memory of his parents late patel bt manjappa gowda and late shrimati chinnamma goes to venkatraman satish joshi i request dr venkatesh also is the sponsor this to join the dignitaries to awarding the silver medal for the best outgoing post graduate student award 2023 in the department of pediatrics sponsored by dr sabita ansari in memory of late dr sv ansari pediatrician kannur goes to shreya adalavat congratulations dr shreya We recognize 
the presence of Dr. Sabita Ansari here. Thank, to, thank you for sponsoring this award to Father Mullah Charitable Institution. With a big round of applause, Dr. Shreya. The best outgoing graduate award for the year 2023 The best outgoing Allied Health Science graduate of the college, Reshma Vishwanathan, Department of BSc ATOT. Let us give a round of applauses to Reshma Vishwanathan. Chief Guest Dr. A.V.S. Ramesh Chandra wants me to say in this category majority of awardees are ladies so he wants them to give a big round of applause thank you Dr. Ramesh Chandra for reminding me this late John Linu Varghese memorial prize for the best outgoing graduate of Bachelor of Physiotherapy Miss Alina Peter Philip Congratulations, Alina. You can come from the main stairs. Congratulations, Alina, with a round of applauses to you. Wishing you all the very best in the days to come. Now I request all the dignitaries on the days to join. And here we are, awaiting for the most prestigious moment. Padamula Charitable Institution President's Gold Medal for the best outgoing MBBS graduate for the year 2023 awarded to Dr. Errol Alicia Montero. She has been awarded gold medal by Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences, Bangalore during 26th convocation held on 28th, 27th February for passing out in final year in first attempt and completing the course in minimum possible duration and securing highest mass in the subject of ophthalmology part 1 MBBS. Congratulations, Dr. Errol. Excellency, thank you, sirs. Congratulations to all the winners. You have indeed made yourselves, your parents, and the institution proud. May you continue to excel and be inspired to achieve many more accolades along your professional journey. We are privileged to have Dr. A. V. S. Ramesh Chandra, IFS, Additional Secretary, Ministry of External Affairs, as our chief guest. Thank you, sir, for accepting our invitation and gracing us with your presence today. I request Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Zaldana, Bishop of Mangalore Diocese, to facilitate, felicitate our Chief Guest. We request you to accept this felicitation on behalf of Father Muller Charitable Institutions.
we are also honored to have Dr. Subhash Giri, Director, Lady Harding Medical College, as our guest of honor. We are proud to have you with us on this solemn occasion, sir. I request Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana, Bishop of Mangalore Diocese, to felicitate our guest of honor. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, sir. All good things must come to an end. To deliver the vote of thanks, I call upon Dr. Hilda de Souza, Principal, Father Miller College of Allied Health Sciences, to propose the vote of thanks. Your Lordship, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Sandana, dignitaries on the days of the days, dear graduates, ladies and gentlemen, cordial greetings of the day to you all. As we close this graduation ceremony of 2024, our hearts are filled with joy and gratefulness to all things. On behalf of entire institution, it gives me great honor and immense pleasure to express sentiments of gratitude to all gathered here and contributed to the success of today's program. First and foremost, I thank God Almighty for his continuous and countless blessings on this mighty institution, especially for this day of celebration. Father Muller Charitable Institutions, with its 144 long years of history, is a brand by itself recognized globally for its achievement and service. It needs to be taken forward, all praises to God. Words are not enough to express gratitude to our president, Most Reverend Dr. Peter Paul Saldana. Under his leadership, Father Mullis has achieved exponential growth and has many success stories to tell. His humane, humble, Yet practical ways of guiding and taking its flock in the Diocese of Mangalore is noteworthy. Thank you, dear Lordship, for your unfailing support to us and also gracing the occasion today. Our chief guest, Dr. A.V.S. Ramesh Chandra IFS, with his vast experience in India and abroad, has given us insightful message, especially to our outgoing graduates. Our young minds have a, have a lot to learn from you, sir. Thank you, sir, for accepting our invitation and being a part of our celebration. We wish you good health and more power to execute many more duties. I'm pleased to acknowledge and appreciate the presence of our guest of honor, Dr. Subhash Giri, who is a perfect amalgamation in clinical medicine, teaching, research and administration. Your placements in highly coveted posts in prestigious institutions all throughout only says your commitment and dedication in the work you do. Sir, you are a true inspiration to climb the ladder of success. We are profoundly grateful to you. Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Cuyolo, our director is a true leader and the head of Mullerian family in the literal sense. During his tenure, institution has seen a sea of changes. No time is wasted in turning vision into action, be it the facilities for patients or students. Thank you, dear father, for guiding us all throughout the year. <laughs> On this solemn occasion, I also thank and appreciate the presence of Vika General our former ad administrators, reverend fathers, sisters, members of governing board and centenary society, benefactors, the government officials, former dean and vice deans, invitees, guests, and our alumni for being part of this celebration. Your presence here gives us much needed support. Thank you. My sincere thanks to reverend father Ajit B. Menezes, administrator of all three colleges, and we all belong to one medical college earlier when it is split. He is administrator for three colleges and convener of graduation day program. Father, your meticulous planning, attention to details, guiding and training everyone involved has been your key to success during past few years. 
no one can match your energy nor enthusiasm thank you dear father i also wish to extend my sincere thanks to administrator of father muller medical college hospital reverend father george ivan sequera assistant administrator reverend father nelson deeraj pais for their active participation in organizing this event my thanks to spiritual directors father george de souza for the ronald lobo for their dedicated services round the clock for everyone in the camps campus thanks to father silvester vincent lobo administrator father muller hospital tumbe for being with us in everything we do in this campus <clears throat> just like it takes a village to raise a child it takes an entire institution to groom professionals in healthcare system our indebtedness to dean vice dean principals vice principals chief of research medical superintendents chief nursing officer hods course coordinators teaching faculty hr manager office superintendent staff and faculty of our institutions your guidance has shaped the future of these graduates and has undoubtedly left an indelible mark on their lives thanks to you all parents of our graduates are beaming with pride and joy you have witnessed your sons and daughters graduating with a sense of satisfaction and jubilation thank you dear parents and guardians for trusting us and for being collaborators in our journey your sacrifice and love to your awards has made this day possible congratulations to you too a program of this magnitude cannot be organized by one it takes team effort thank you dear committee conveners coordinators and members for your dedication and tire untiring efforts to put up this show we remain grateful to you a special thanks to student volunteers and staff in charges you have done a great job in this era media plays a big role in our society we are thankful to our media friends both print and electronic for being there for us we acknowledge the efforts of technical physical security arrangement sound and light video and photography stage setting backdrop divine world for their live telecast police personnel in assisting us to organize this program special thanks to school of nursing band and the a uh, guide who has trained them thank you <laughs> lastly superstars of today the graduates this is your day heartiest congratulations to you all as you embark on your professional journey may you uphold the values of compassion integrity and excellence instilled in father mullers during your time here our motto heal and comfort etched in your hearts may you mark meaningful contributions in healthcare touch the lives of countless individuals in society let the gratefulness to your alma mater resonate through your deeds of compassion best wishes to all of you for a bright future we hope to see you back here for your class reunions maybe after 10 20 25 or 50 years as teachers we feel proud to see your achievements and be a part of your life's journey please feel free to share with us i'm actually looking forward for the reunion of first batch of mbbs in a couple of months i sincerely thank each and every one who has helped us directly or indirectly without mentioning names once again i thank all of you present here your prayers your presence and participation I have given a glow to today's grand celebrations. Have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. We have now reached the end of the ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, let us show reverence to our nation by rising as we sing the national anthem. Oh
As a gesture of respect and gratitude, I request you all to remain standing as the dignitaries leave the hall. Thank you one and all. graduates are hereby instructed not to leave the convention center with the graduation gowns and caps as informed earlier please return the same within 30 minutes at the counters assigned for the purpose we have arranged selfie booths for all proud graduates to make and cherish today's memories kindly make use of them i request the invitees and guests to kindly proceed to molodine for the refreshments kindly show your coupons at the counters assigned for the same volunteers will guide you all is well that ends well i dr savita and i dr shreyas bid you farewell thank you for being such a wonderful audience have a nice day <laughs>